Assalamu alaikum and hello. My name is Hanis Benti Hussein. I would like to give an introduction on sequences and series. A sequence is an arrangement of a set of numbers in a particular order followed by some rule. Besides, a series is a sum where you are adding the terms together. There are two types of series, namely arithmetic series and geometric series. An arithmetic series is the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence or progression. There are several formulas for arithmetic series. The first one is n term, where a is the first term and d is the common difference. Next formula is sum for arithmetic series. We can use this formula to find the common difference. The geometric series formula or the geometric sequence formula give the sum of a finite geometric sequence. There are several formula for geometric series. The first one is the n term, where r is the common ratio. Next, this formula is to find sum for geometric series. This formula to find infinite series. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Ismail bin Yusuf. And now, I want to explain about Fila table for question 1. The fact for the question 1 is Me and my friend want to start an online closing business. Second, there are 4 new members is as downline or as the second generation. Third, each generation is able to get four new members. The ideas for this question is first, each person in a generation will get four new members as downline. Second, sec the second generation will have eight members. Third, the ratio of the member between each generation is four. And lastly, this might be a geometric progression. Learning issue for this question is First, how can we know the number of members per generation? Second, why the difference between each generation are different? Why the ratio between each generation are the same? Third, what kind of progression is it? Then, how can we identify progression? Recourses needed for this question is First, book and the second is internet hi assalamualaikum my name is Hamza Lokman bin Rosdi and now I will explain about fila table for question 2 the facts in this fila table is first my brother who was in secondary school wanted to buy a new iPhone second is the first month he saved 150 ringgit and the third is each month after I gave him 50 ringgit the ideas in this fila table is first, my brother save 150 ringgit in the first month. Second, he will have 200 ringgit in the second month. And the third is the difference of the money he save between each month is 50 ringgit. And the last is this might be an arithmetic progression. The learning issue in this fila table is first, how can we know? that the money my brother saved in the certain month. Second is, why are the difference between each month are the same, while the ratio between each month are different? The third is, what kind of progression is it? And the last is, how can we identify the progression? The resource needed for this filler table is, first is book and second is internet. Hey, my name is Martin. Now let us discuss about question one. From the question given, each member will get 4 new members as a downline. So we can conclude that each generation's total members are 4 times to the previous generation's members. Therefore, if the first generation consists of 2 members, the total numbers of second generation is 4 times more to the first generation, which is equal to 8. With this concept, we can calculate that the total number of members for third generation is equal to 32, which is 8 times 4 and the total number of members of fourth generation are equal to 128, which is 32 times 4. 
After getting the total numbers of members of each generation, we can calculate the difference between them. The difference between the second generation and first generation is equal to 8 minus 2, which is equal to 6. And the difference between the third generation and second generation is 32 minus 8, which is equal to 24. While the difference between the fourth generation and third generation is equal to 128 minus 32, which is equal to 96. Also, for the total members of each generation, we can know the ratio of generation. The ratio of second generation with first generation is 8 divided by 2, which is equal to 4. And the ratio of third generation with second generation also equal to 4, which is 32 divided by 8. Based on the calculation done above, we can conclude that all the ratios between each generation are the same, which is 4, while the difference between each generation are not the same. As a conclusion, this is a geometry progression. It is all from question 1. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Julita Shikin Binti Hirani. So I am going to explain question 2 to all of you. So in question 2, my brothers already saved 150 ringgit in the first month and I will give him 50 ringgit for each month thereafter. So for the first month, my brother already saved 150 ringgit. For the second month, my brother saved 200 ringgit as I give him 50 ringgit and for the third month he saved 250 ringgit finally in the fourth month he already saved 300 ringgit then the differences between each month are the same which is 50 ringgit as you guys can see on the screen after that the ratio of the second month with the first month is 1.333 while the ratio of the third month with the second month is 1.25 based on the calculation done before we can conclude that all the differences between each month are the same which is 50 ringgit while the ratios between each month are not the same as a conclusion arithmetic is applied in this question Hi, my name is Jun Lim Jiaji. As a conclusion, this problem-based learning wants us to identify the progression for question 1 and question 2. And we know that the characteristic for an arithmetic progression is that its common difference between any two consecutive numbers is a constant. In contrast, for a geometric progression, its common ratio between any two consecutive number is a constant. So after calculating the common difference and common ratio for both question one and question two, we can conclude that question one is a geometric progression, while question two is an arithmetic progression. After knowing the progression for both question one and question two, we now can solve the problem more effectively by using this formula for arithmetic progression and this formula for geometric progression. For this formula, A represents the first term of the progression, D is the common difference of the progression, R is the common ratio of the progression, while N is the number of terms that you wanted to find. For example, for question 1, which is a geometric progression, if I want to find the total member in third generation, all I need to do is insert the information I have into the formula for geometric progression. And then I will get the answer directly. As a result, we can conclude that it is crucial to identify the progression of the question in the first place in order to solve the questions more effectively by using the formula. That's all from our group. Thank you, Tuan, for lending us your ears.